Back in the 60s, we made extensive use of two measuring instruments when repairing radio and television receivers, the vacuum tube voltmeter and the oscilloscope. For now, we are going to present a very basic explanation on how the oscilloscope works. This instrument makes it possible to analyze waveform, phase, and frequency of both audio and video signals present in radio and TV receivers. The heart of the oscilloscope is a cathode ray tube, or CRT. This tube is very similar to a TV picture tube, but the deflection of the electron beam is carried out by means of a set of metal plates inside the tube, electrically charged from the outside in order to deflect the electrons, both vertically and horizontally. The fluorescent screen generally uses a phosphor which emits green light. When the plates are not getting any voltage, a green dot appears at the center of the screen. By the way, the dot should not be still for more than a fraction of a second as it damages the screen phosphor. The electron beam must always be in motion. If we consider the electron beam made of negative particles as seen from the front of the screen, whenever the deflection plate on the left side gets a positive charge and the plate on the right side gets a negative charge, the electron beam will be attracted to the positive plate and rejected by the negative plate, so it will be deflected to the left side of the screen. If we now reverse the polarity of the plates, the beam will move to the right side of the screen. Conversely, when the upper plate is positive and the lower plate is negative, the electron beam is deflected upward on the screen. If polarity is reversed, the beam will be deflected to the bottom of the screen. Inside the oscilloscope cabinet, there's an oscillator circuit, which produces a ramped signal going up at a relatively slow rate and then dropping suddenly, thus producing a sawtooth-like wave. This signal is amplified and applied to the horizontal deflection plates of the cathode ray tube, thus moving the green dot from left to right and then quickly going back for starting a new cycle. At the same time, an amplifier applies the signal to be observed to the vertical deflection plates. By synchronizing the frequency of the sawtooth oscillator with the repetition rate of the signal to be analyzed, its waveform can be closely examined on the screen as one cycle overlaps with the other, thus showing a still image on the screen. The rest of the oscilloscope circuits are the power and high voltage supply to operate the cathode ray tube, the focus and brightness circuits of the graph on the screen, the repetition rate controls, an attenuation control of the input signals in addition to a synchronization circuit called a trigger which allows the sawtooth oscillator to be tied with the signal to be observed so that the image remains still for ease of observation. The screen has a green filter on it for a greater contrast of the images and a grid to be able to compare the amplitude of the signal. This grid can be illuminated at will for more comfortable viewing. I hope this video has been useful to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Ciao Tarin.